Okay, here's a short video on um, the installation of my 7 watt JTEC laser on my Laguna CNC router table. Uh, just got this installed about a week or so ago and was going to go through it real quick and show everybody. Um, I had to build a bracket right here that actually was already on here for the um, ventilation system. So uh, just had to put a little piece of 3 16 steel plate out here with the bolt hole patterns and then the magnetic base screws right into that and then the lasers um, magnetic mounted to that base so that worked out real well. Um, ran all the, the cables up through the, the chain. Uh, that took about as long to do that as it was anything. Um, I had to drill two holes here in the uh, console and uh, built this little quick um, sign here that's uh, for the toggle switch uh, laser up uh, this direction and then down for the router. Uh, here's your reset button for the laser when you turn it on and then around back in the back panel is where the uh, laser driver bolted onto and then run the wires out through there through the uh, the chain and, and that went real well um, didn't have any problems with setting it up uh, and then you go to the JTEC website and you can actually download the uh, MMG file that you need on VCarve Pro uh, that's, uh, if, I don't know if you can see that right in there, it um, actually says Laguna Laser MMG. Uh, you download that and add that up here to um, your uh, post processor and then just um, go in and follow the directions that they tell you um, when you're going to go set it up as far as your Z1 and Z2 clearance and um, then you go in here real quick and hit menu machine setup scroll down to the spindle spindle delay uh, normally it's uh, and it's in microseconds it's supposed to be four full seconds to uh, delay when it starts and this is on the spindle and then one second for the off delay on the spindle and what you you do is you just set these to Z, um, excuse me, wrong, that was wrong, back, to uh, set those to zero, and then you're good to go as far as uh, running the laser, and then you just adjust your travel speeds uh, according to how uh, dark you want it to burn on the wood. And uh, the one issue that Jay was saying that um, anything, any one of these tables that has uh, the uh, HHC controller where you don't have the computer software actually running the, the whole show, um, you can't turn the laser on at a low uh, power to uh, actually show up on your material and find out where your, um, your XY is going to be at. And um, what I come up with, and it was real easy to do, I just made it out of some 3 8 acrylic. And it's this little piece here. Um, I actually just put the, uh, the laser, unplugged it and put it in my scanner and set it in there on the, on the glass and scanned this and then traced that bitmap and made this little guide then put an eighth inch hole in it and then put a rivet in it in the bottom and then sucked it up and I didn't actually uh, you don't pull on the rivet gun until you break off the stem you just leave that in there and this is perfectly centered right below the where the laser lights at and it just snaps in and then you can actually run that down and use it for a quick pointer to find out where your start points at, set your um, X and Y, and then snap that out of there, and then you um, 
All you got to do next is run it down till it hits the puck that they send with the machine, uh, with the laser I mean, and uh, set your Z height and, and you're ready to go. Um, I think this is the coolest thing I've bought for this uh, router table since I've had it and it's, I haven't got to play with it much. Just made a few signs and I'm going to try on here later today to actually uh, get a video of uh, it running and cutting cutting out a sign for the uh, first armored division so um, thanks for watching if you got any questions um, send them in the um, questions on the at the bottom and thanks for watching